Hey, Jeff. Uh, coming off of the off-season surgery, do you approach a camp like this any differently than you would coming in off of a normal year? Um, not really, to be honest with you. I think because of the circumstances, and we've had, you know, I had surgery end of May. So we've had uh, plenty of time to, to rehab and kind of work my way back into skating. And at this point, I feel, you know, perfectly fine. So uh, maybe in normal circumstances when we didn't have as much time here, uh, I would. But for this year, I feel good. I'm ready to go. So. Was the way this offseason shook out in a way kind of a blessing in disguise for you to give you, you know, so much extra time to get back to 100%? Yeah, I think for sure it has. Um, you know, like I said, the – you know, I just turned 36, so uh, as much time as I can get to, to heal up and uh, and be ready to go, uh, you know, it's definitely going to help me in the long run, I think. Thanks, Jeff. All right, next up is Dan Greenspan. Hey there, Jeff. Uh, I'm just curious, what have you been told from either the team, the league, or the PA about what life will be like when you guys are on the road this year? in terms of what you'll be allowed to do, how much you're sort of be confined to the hotel or, or just, you know, those sorts of things. Yeah. We haven't heard a ton yet, to be honest with you. Um, we've had a few like little talks. Uh, sounds like it's going to be pretty limited, um, you know, in your rooms, in the hotel, on the hotel property. That's about it. So uh, we'll have to load up on some shows. Thanks. Uh, next up, Nick Nixon. Yeah, hi, Jeff. Uh, happy birthday. Um, yeah. Right wing center uh, here in camp, you're playing on the right side. And throughout your career, you've you played both positions. Is it much of an adjustment for you with the experience you have when you move from one position to the other? Um, not really, to be honest with you. Um, like you said, I, I've kind of flopped back and forth uh, for the most part the second half of my career here. Um, I'm comfortable on both. Um, you know, it's a couple practices of just mainly just the wall play, right? And the, the D's coming down is probably the biggest thing. But the way that we play, it's, you know, half the time I'm going to be the low guy coming back in our own zone anyway. So I'm basically playing center at that point, right? So it's, um, you know, everybody on, on each line, whether you're a winger or a centerman on our team, you have to know how to play every position. It's just the way that our system works out. So um, not an issue, though. And just to follow up, uh, in your career, have you found that maybe you're able to generate more scoring chances, I guess, shots when you're playing wing as opposed to center? Or does that depend on who you're with? Um, you know, I've never really thought of it, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I like, to, I like to be coming up the ice with speed and, and the puck on my stick. Um, you know, if I'm on the wing, I'd uh, love to be uh, – you know, with guys that can get me the puck. So um, either way, I'm fine. Uh, I have no problem coming down the wing and, and someone laying a puck into me and I'm skating into it. So uh, hopefully it works out well this year. Thanks. Okay, next up is Daryl Evans. Hey, Jeff. Uh, just uh, with Todd coming back now for his second year, last year you guys uh, underwent some changes in the style of play. Do you feel that everybody's adapted well? And how does his systems complement the uh, personnel that you guys have in your team this year? Yeah, I think it's been great uh, right from day one this year. Um, you know, not too many new guys, a few guys coming in that, that had to kind of, you know, get a grasp on the system. But for the most part, uh, um, guys came in, they knew exactly what we were doing and, uh, and kind of went to work. And I think, uh, you know, as the first three days built, you, you kind of saw that in the scrimmages. Um, you know, by day three, we were right into the neutral zone and the four check and everything. So it, uh, it's been real good. Thank you. Okay, reminder to use the raise hand function. We've got uh, John Hoven now. Hey, Jeff, just wondering about sort of your level of excitement, I guess, building on one of the earlier questions there. Not only is it Todd's second season coming back, but there's just been a lot of, uh, you know, turmoil and change over the last couple of years with, John Stevens coming in and then, you know, maybe the bad camp the year before and then Todd coming or the year after and then Todd coming in just uh, as the waters are sort of calming and things are settling. Is this an exciting year? You're hearing some of your teammates uh, talk about the playoffs even. Yeah, I mean, that's our goal, right? <laughs> um, we feel that we're a playoff team. Uh, 
everybody's rested and uh, recovered from everything. And, uh, you know, there's definitely an excitement in the room and everybody's ready to go for sure. Todd mentioned earlier as well that he was going to try to keep the lines together throughout training camp and sort of build off of any familiarity rather than sort of mixing things up. Does that, uh, again, does that add any sort of level of excitement for you, uh, to, you know, maybe keep the blender away for a while and, and, and build some consistency uh, with your with your line mates? Yeah, it's definitely easier to get things rolling when, uh, when you have, uh, you know, a few weeks or a bunch of games in a row to get kind of going with each other. I think especially – I played with Lizzo a little bit last year, but haven't played with Wags much. So um, the more time we can get together and practice in games, it, uh, it's only going to help us. And then last one would just be, you know, without the exhibition games, is that a big deal for someone like you, you know, a veteran in the league, you've been through it before, you know what's needed on game one. Do you care at all about the fact there won't be any exhibition games this year? Um, not particularly. Um, you know, we're all pros. Uh, I'm sure at some point this week we'll get some uh, some type of game-like situations in. So it's just up to everybody at this point to to get themselves ready because you know everybody around the league's in the whole in the same boat. So you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, Karts. I guess one more quick one too. Uh, nice flow going on this year. Are you growing that out, or is that just uh, uh, you know quarantine hair? I had nowhere to be for the last eleven months. <laughs> Thanks, Karts. All right, we're going to finish it off here with uh, Lisa Dillman. Hey, Jeff, is, is it safe to say this is maybe the best you felt or, or for lack of a better word, healthiest you felt in the last couple of years? Um, yeah, probably. I mean, uh, you, know, you go back to the, the ankle there and that kind of lingered for a few years and um, now getting fixed up this summer. Uh, yeah, I feel, I feel good. Um, I feel strong. We had a good, good summer rehab and, uh, you know, workouts and whatnot with, uh, with Pricer and Trent. Um, and I've had extended period of time to, to skate where I didn't have to, um, just jump right back into it and, and get right going at full speed. I was able to, to kind of ease my way into it and, and work my way up to full speed, uh, you know, leading up to camp. So I think that, uh, that really helped me. Um, maybe just not having any setbacks along the way, really. Um, so yeah, I feel, I feel good. I'm, I'm ready to go. And as far as the combination, you, you mentioned you played with Blake some last year. What, what about Wags? And then, you know, he's talks quite frequently. I imagine that's still the case. <laughs> yeah, that's still the case. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's, Hey, we all know Wags' game. Uh, the first thing you see is his speed. So um, if he's utilizing that and, and, and you know, stretching plays out and, and taking off for us, uh, you know, he creates a lot on, on the four check because of his speed, closing on guys and, and winning races to pucks. So, um, you know, it can be a big asset to our line for sure. All right. Are the kids back in school or are you continuing to educate them at home? No, they're back. They've been back for a while now. Cool. Yeah. Thank you.